Clubbrook and Ravenhoe, um, uh, man folk and women folk alike. Uh, here's a boy again, you know, in the midst of all this conflict, Russia and Ukraine. Thought I'd give you me two cents on it, right? And so the crack here is, I guess, is um, what I was trying to say to you. Uh, here is why I support sanctions against the US and Israel, but not against Russia. Now, you need to understand, right, is that some sanctions on Russia are legitimized in ways, like sanctions against um, the Ministry of Defense, Shaykh, uh, fucking propaganda mouthpieces, uh, like Solovyov and Kisilyov, uh, fucking, like, uh, obviously against the oligarchs, who own all the peas in the country, right? But what I don't think is legitimate, what I don't think should be implemented is sanctions that affect the regular Russian man or woman folk like in the country. I think that's bang out of order. Um, I think that what we need to do now is realize that sanctions really only work on allied countries. Um, for example, a country like Israel, for example, or a country like America here, living in Ireland, the EU country is the best spot for me to be talking about it from, right? Because what we could be doing is we could have been implementing sanctions against the US for the invasion of Iraq. Um, for Well, that was 2004 before we uh, were part of the EU. So, um, well, I think I'm getting something twisted, but anyway, it doesn't even matter, right? Uh, we could have implemented sanctions against the US for the invasion of Iraq. We could have implemented sanctions for their um, for their involvement in Afghanistan, for bombing of Pakistan. Uh, we could have implemented sanctions against Israel, which is an ally of ours as well, um, a mutual ally of ours with America, um, for obviously the whole Palestinian situation um, and uh, their their basic apartheid state similarly to how we conducted it in uh, the 1970s or uh, with South Africa which was also an apartheid state um, so these kinds of sanctions really only work against our allies that's where they hurt the most uh, enemy sanctions don't really work because the population isn't on our side uh, the population is going to know that the sanctions are against them and uh, their implementation wouldn't really affect anything unless you're doing it against, like I said, propaganda mouthpieces, Ministry of Defence, um, military oligarchs, whatever. Other than that, doesn't it really work, like, doesn't it? Right? That's all I'm saying. So what we need to do is focus more on our allies first, but in the current situation, we need to be focusing on how we can implement these sanctions against Russia effectively so that they don't affect the regular Russian person. Maybe cut out the oil. Like, who the fuck cares if you're going to suffer from that, right? Who's going to care if you suffer from the oil and gas cut, right? Do it, because it'll affect Russia greatly, their economy anyway. They won't be able to produce um, ore no longer. Uh, well, at least they will halt them for... Excuse me, errors all over the place. At least they'll hold them for a good while, for a wee bit. Um, and then we can focus on implementing the sanctions against, you know, important people. But I think what we need to do now is take away all these sanctions, all these boycotts of brands pulling out of um, Russia. Because you know what this is? This is heartless capitalism. This is heartless fucking virtue signaling, right? Uh, oh, we're so righteous, we pulled out of a country and made people in there suffer. That's fucking great. That's that's bonny shite, that is. No, it's not. It's not. It's not cracker carry on, no. It's absolute shite carry on. It's bang out of order. You're only, what you're doing only affects regular Russian people. They can you're taking away their livelihoods. We need to stop this virtue signaling and cap uh, post-liberal fucking bullshit. All right, and focus more on uh, utilitarianism. Focus more on what can actually cripple the Russian war economy, right? So that they can implement any of their um, shit on us, right? Because their counter sanctions don't really work. But 
their invasion of Ukraine is what the real concern is. Right. So they can implement counter sanctions on us all they want, cut out our oil all they want. But at the end of the day, it's only really going to affect their economy, unlike what we're doing now. Right. And this is the same for uh, countries like America and uh, Israel. So anyway, uh, that was all really I was going to say. Um, and now this is probably going to be the first and last video about this conflict. I don't really want to involve myself in it. But all I want to say is I fully support uh, the Ukrainian people and I'm fully against the invasion of the country, the so-called Spets operation. Um, I'll be seeing you lot in a bit. Slava Ukraine.